Hey everyone, we're here with a retail break. This time it's a Mega Box from uh, Optic, 2017 Optic Mega Box. You get uh, 10 packs in here and four cards uh, per pack. This box is quite large, therefore, Mega Box. <laughs> I mean, I don't, there's no way that 10 packs can fill this box. So uh, it's one of these collector boxes. If you've bought anything from Walmart in the collector box section uh, before, they, these boxes are quite uh, oversized. Um, anyways, uh, you can get um, 10 exclusive red and yellow parallels uh, in here. Uh, that's what you're guaranteed. And uh, we believe they're all rookies. Um, we're not sure. At least I saw one other video on YouTube before, and it, they didn't get any veteran red and yellows. So. so we'll see. This box is, what, $35? $35. Um, <clears throat> and um, obviously $15 more than a blaster box. So you have to weigh that into consideration when you're making a purchase. Yeah. All right, so pack number one here, we've got Michael Thomas. Oh, cool, I like these inserts. Uh, Blonde Bomber. Blonde Bomber of Terry Bradshaw, AKA. So we've got a red and yellow here. These aren't numbered. Of Jordan Wallace, these are actually really nice looking. These are pretty cool. The red on the top and the yellow on the top. I think they made these, didn't they make these They're last, last year, year with the uh, <clears throat> Probably the same product. They're pretty nice looking cards. So Jordan Willis is the first one, and then Denal Pimphrey or Pumphrey Ray Ricky. Yeah, so we opened up. Uh, you can see our video of the two hanger packs that we bought, and those were real disappointing. We're hoping that this shapes up to be a little bit more bang for your buck here. Yeah. So here we've got Todd Gurley, Mike Evans, and a red and yellow Jeremy McNiggles. Now we get this guy pretty much in everything we open. Yeah, he's like um, he just the, haunts us, I guess. Um, it's kind of all over Panini products this year. He's general. kind of the Taj uh, Boyd, the Michael Agnew, Michael Agnew, the you name it from Gavin whatever Escobar. year. Yeah, it's uh, yeah one of the one of those guys. It's a nice looking card though. I actually really like these random yeah, cards. Yeah, they're sharp. And then a Chris Wormley rookie. They look really cool. Thanks, right, Pat. Got Tyrod Taylor. A, uh, I think these are 1981. I think so, yeah. 81. <clears throat> Matt Ryan, really cool looking card. And then a Marlon Humphrey, red and yellow. And a Amara Darbo rookie. Right. Next. So kind of nice. You get a couple. You get at least one rookie per per pack, and then those um, red and yellow. Uh, ones are one per pack too. Yeah, so we've got Jay Ajayi, AJ Green, a Donta Foreman, red and yellow. So, so far they've all been rookies and they've been balancing out. So, two raid rookies and two rookies. So, I would guess at this point that you're going to get five raid rookies and five rookies, just to guess. And you can get um, parallels in here. You can get yeah. a few of the parallels in here. So so far we have not hit any big name rookies, which is a rather unfortunate. Looks like the relics in this one. Pick a card. So we've got Drell Freeman. It's not a spacer or filler. So there's a Dwayne Smoot. Dwayne Smoot. Dwayne Smoot. Or red and yellow. Marlon Mack, raid rookie. And the relic card is going to be Tawan Taylor, I think. I think, we got, I, think we got, I think we got that out of a blaster. I yeah, opened yeah. a blaster and I ended up with him, so not the best name. Same same card, they're not anything special. Like they're same as what you'd get in a blaster. They're actually pretty nice They're actually also. really they're actually really nice looking. Yeah. Um I, think I, mean, I like these rather than the prism ones. Yeah, they're they're you know your typical relic, just a little swatch of some player worn material, nothing, nothing too dramatic. But um, they're, the cards are actually really sharp, the relic cards. This is too bad that with the relics they don't do a little bit more to make it more interesting. But or, or just even make it as you get one autograph or relic card or something in these where you can get. All right, here's a Carson Wentz and Brian Hoyer. And uh, Wayne Gallman, so still not hitting the big, bigger names. 
Um, and then a Dory Jackson rookie. All right, let's see if these last packs can get us at least one or two of the bigger names. That'd be nice. Oh no, there he is again. Like Niggles. <laughs> I guess we should become super collectors of them or something. All right, Drew Brees, uh, DeAndre Hopkins, and Malik Hooker. That's the red and yellow. And then this McNichols. Down to three packs. No parallels yet. Two more red and yellows, though. Yes. Two more. Well, is it ten? Yeah. Ten. Well, no, no. Two more rated rookies. Oh, two. Oh, okay. Rated, rated, rated rookies. rookies. I see. Yeah. So ten. You get you get one per pack. But what he's saying there is you get um, every other pack seems to be a rated rookie. Um, in the red and yellows, it is. And there's a Joe Mixon. Um, he actually had a pretty solid year this year. Didn't have a ton of yards, but played pretty well. Isaiah Ford. All right, so let's get a Kamara, a Hunt, a Watson, um, somebody, anybody. Anybody that's not a nobody. All right, so Tajay Sharp, uh, Tariq Hill. That's a hollow. That's a hollow, yeah, that's what I thought. Yep, so there we can see <clears throat> the hollow, the prism, right up there in the corner. Um, Azui and Foreman. All right. Well, so far, this has not turned out to be the greatest box, but still um, not not horrible either. Cam Newton, a Deshaun Jackson, and a Joshua Dobbs, and a Jordan Willis. Okay, so we did not get one of the big name rookies in there. No. Um, but you could buy a box and get all big name rookies. I mean, it, it, it's hard to know without opening up more than one box. Um, but you get 10 of the red uh, and yellow parallels. Um, and it seems like you get five rated rookies, five regular rookies, um, and then the one um, relic card. So, uh, you know, hard to know if it's actually worth the uh, 35 bucks. Um, I would, I'd go on a limb and say it could be if you got uh, better better rookies than we did. Um, you did we did get one at least one insert, um, but no parallels. So um, kind of hard to say. I'm a little bit torn. I don't know. I'd rush out and buy another one, but um, I'd say the value is not not horrible in there either. You get what forty cards. So yeah. I mean that's cards. quite that's a few quite, quite a few cards. cards. Um, Hobby box you'd get what? Hobby box is what twenty packs. Subby eighty. 88 cards or something like that. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more. So, something. yeah, so not too bad. I mean, for 35 bucks, two of these would be like 75 bucks or $70. $70. So you're only 10 bucks away from a hobby box. I would box say, at that yeah, point. I'd probably say save your money and buy a buy a hobby box. Unless, unless, you, unless these red and yellow parallels sell for a lot of money. However, I do think these are better than two, like buying two blasters or something. I think you'd do yeah. better out of these because you, you get a lot of red and yellow parallels. Yeah, so. we, we don't think you can get any um, autographs out of these. I don't think it's doesn't. on the odds. So, Yeah, I don't think so. Just from a quick scan, it doesn't look like I mean, you may be able to. Anyways, let us know what you think, guys. We appreciate you watching. Uh, so 35 bucks. we found this at Walmart today. Today is the 2nd of January. Um, and, uh, yeah, 35 bucks at Walmart. Pick this up today and just want to show you what you can get out of it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hit the thumbs up button there. If you uh, like what you saw, comment below. Let us know what you think or let us want, know what you got out of a box that you broke. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to our channel. We greatly appreciate it. Thanks so much and Happy New Year to you all. Take care.